Guys, today we're gonna to be making the best burgers ever. I am completely obsessed with burgers and I'm so excited to show you how to make them. I know that you have been making them wrong, so I'm gonna teach you. I'm gonna show you how to make them. And you are gonna know how to make the best burgers ever too. Let's do this. How's that? Yep. Okay guys, this is what you need for today. 600 grams plus minus ground beef mints. You can go to your butcher and ask for a 75-25 meat to fat ratio. Sea salt or umami salt from Ioli. Two tablespoons softened butter. Four soft hamburger rolls, four slices of American cheese, iceberg lettuce, a red onion. For the sauce ingredients, you need a quarter cup of mayonnaise. I'm using Ioli Essay's uh, truffle Ioli. Pickle juice, quarter cup of ketchup, quarter cup of yellow mustard, which is like the mustard sauce that you use for hot dogs. A splash of Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce, the cast iron pan if you have. If you don't have a cast iron pan, a non-stick pan with a lid so you can steam the cheese. Guys, I am so excited for today. Probably shouldn't do that to my now, but we're making burgers. Okay, let me check out who's all this one. We've got Anton. We've got Anton going woo! We've got Robert is the Zach Millen. Um, okay guys. Dickinson. Hello everyone. Hello Jordan. Love? Okay. Sorry. So, <laughs> Jules Fratza. Okay, so what we're gonna um, start with is uh, I'm gonna talk to you a little about the, the meat. Um, firstly, you can't go into a store and just go buy a normal mince and just put it into a patty. Like we're not gonna put in any breadcrumbs, no eggs in here. You literally take the meat, shape it in a patty, salt it on the outside, put it on the grill. That's the way it's meant to be done. And if anyone tells you different, nah. So we went to the butchery, you've got to ask them, say I want to make a 75-25 mince or 80-20 mince. You need a higher fat content. Fat is your friend. I know people are worried about fat in mince, but this, you need fat in mince because it keeps the burger super juicy and um, it's just great time. Let, let's, uh, let's, start off, let's start off by making all our patty. So, this is, uh, uh, I said 600 grams, but uh, you can kind of do 150 to 170 grams. Around about there, this is about 170. There we go. It's like, a, what size ball do you think that is? Just short of a tennis ball. Hey, Juice? Yeah, I'd say tennis ball. Tennis ball? Tennis ball. Yeah, you don't have a scale, just uh, make it like a your tennis ball. It's a little bit short of a tennis ball. Okay. I've got another, I'm going to make four patties, which is we got. Four crew, yeah? Oli, Yevon in Sri Lanka says the delivery address is Hideaway Cafe, Aragon Bay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> what a legend. Hello, Yevon. Frothing in London already. Soft Guys, I knew you got that on the dot. A little bit more. There we go. Okay. And um, this is a mixture of brisket. Like you, so what you would do, you would use trap brisket, short rib, sirloin. Okay guys, I just want to tell you. Look at that, 170 on the dot. Oli did a test run last night. I nearly cried. It's that so good. Insane. Literally, this is it. You take it out, it's so easy. You take it out the packet. And you don't want to overwork it. You just you just make a little ball. So where did you get your mental? I promise you, I'm like a genius like when it comes to making 170 years. Okay. I'm the lesser. No. <laughs> I'm just so used to making the balls. Okay, so there's our patties, sorted. Now we've got our cheese. Let's talk about our cheese. This cheese is American cheese. This is what the Americans call American cheese. Processed packet cheese. Naughty it is a cheese. naughty cheese. It is a must. I am adding a, a little bit of a Havati clan here at the bay end of the load because I had it and it's banging on a burger. I love, I love clan here cheese. Okay. Brendan, welcome. Okay, now I'm gonna take, now we're gonna make the sauce. No, let's, let's, do, the, let's do the lettuce first. Okay, so the, the iceberg lettuce, I'm just gonna cut down the middle and then I'm gonna cut it like that. That looks good. Oh, we just kind of want like a couple of big chunks that you can just put on the, the bun, the base. Okay, lettuce sorted. Barnes Brendan says we are coming for lunch and Teresa says, Hasn't even started and I'm already hungry. Thanks, Woo! 
Okay, whoa! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, five second rule. It's my onions. I'm gonna slice. I like them uh, whole circles, but I want them as thin as possible. So you're just gonna literally. That's mine. Beautiful. Okay, Oz, I've got a question for you. Yeah. What is your favorite burger in Cape Town? I have a couple. The clock, a clock is definitely my best because it's so simple. They don't put lettuce or onions and stuff, which is really nice, but I sometimes do like a little bit of lettuce and onion. It makes me feel good about myself. Makes it like just a little bit Yeah, exactly. <laughs> makes my, my cheat day seem like I'm not cheating so much. <laughs> okay? okay. There we go, there's my sliced onions. Oh, what are you doing? Okay. That was like dark day, what are you speaking of? <laughs> okay. What just happened there? Okay. There's my uh, toppings. Now for the sauce. Just put, if you could put that plate in front just so everyone can see what you Okay. There we go. Cheese. Yeah. Just mints there rolled in a ball. Okay. Now we are going to make the secret sauce. Very simple. All gold mustard, all gold tomato sauce together. Local, it's lacquer. And a really good mayonnaise or aioli. We're using truffle aioli. It's going to make it fancy. And um, yeah, I normally do one is to one is to one. So basically, you guys know your little pink sauce and your lighty. So it's tomato sauce. Are you measuring it any kind? That's a half a cup. Okay. Okay, half a cup tomato sauce. <laughs> half a cup. Truffle or you can use almonds or. Oh, so you're actually mixing it in there? Mixing it in there. Okay, and all if Ooh. people don't have the truffle oil, what should they put in it? Just any I'll put like a hot any mayonnaise or homemade mayonnaise. Look at this. Baby says base already in the whole world. Yeah. Okay, and then the mustard also, like the same amount of mustard too. Look at that. Oh yeah. my god. You love a measuring cup, eh? Love a measuring cup. Look at this. <laughs> And I also do it by eye. I like it to kind of look, look, look a certain color. I like the yellow to take over, obviously. Look at this. Oh my word, that is a jaw. That is a jaw. It's the best sauce I've ever had in my life. Okay? What do you reckon? So how did you like come up with the sauce? I mean... Well, like burgers always have tomato sauce, always have ketchup and mustard. Um, and yeah, we just... Now we're pimping it. Mm. That's really good. Now, we take a little bit of our pickle juice, like a tablespoon, pop it in there, maybe a little tablespoon and a half. I think I said a teaspoon in the recipe, but... We all know you never follow the recipe. Exactly. <laughs> okay, and then I've got a little bit of paprika here, which I'm just going to put half a teaspoon in. Yo, come on, come on, come on. This is a big paprika, this is a little bit. It always does like that. There we go. Okay. So how much is that, about a teaspoon? Half a teaspoon. Okay. I'm putting a little bit more. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. Okay, jaw. Okay. okay, there we go. Look at that. That's insane sauce. There we go. Just like that. Just like that, Juju. Best chow ever. Your. Right? What'll it take you? Oh. Truffle makes it, right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, the truffle oil is. <laughs> Yeah. Cool. And Worcestershire. Don't forget the Worcestershire. Jaden, my mom, I have a whole combo of truffle oil. I put like four drops of Worcestershire in it, maybe five. Look at this. Look at this. Yew! I knew it was missing a little bit of salt. That's power. Okay. Pickles, we're going to prepare. I'm going to wash my hands. Hold on. No glass, I don't have any. <laughs> okay, the pickles we're gonna prepare. We've got two pickles here. We're just gonna slice them long ways. For me, the pickles make the burger. Yeah, the pickle, I love a pickle in a burger. Oh my god. It cuts the it cuts the fat in the burger, which is what you want. That makes it balanced. If you don't have pickles, then I said that you can put a little bit of red wine vinegar on your on your onions. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be the best. Basically eating already. Okay, guys, next is your bread rolls. Cut your bread rolls down the middle. I like it right down the middle. Make sure you don't go too high or too low. 
How do you feel about a bunless burger? Um, what's on a radio burger then? <laughs> okay, toasting my bun, just getting it nice and crispy. That makes it banging. I'm actually gonna get my, my grill on just to keep them slightly warm. So you're gonna keep them in the oven so that they stay nice and warm? Yeah, I'm, just gonna, I'm putting them low. I'll put the grill on, but I'm gonna put them low on there. Okay, so for everyone cooking, get your oven done. We've got our own uh, little MSG salt. It's not MSG, it is natural MSG. It's a mommy salt done by Ali. So it's sea salt, uh, dried porcini, it's got kelp. It's incredible, it's like super and mommy. It tastes, it just tastes a little bit like, like tuna noodle mix. Like a gourmet tuna noodle. Yeah, mm. but bang. Look at this, toasting our buns, looking good. Ados is on here, he says, burger time and capital. Yeah. Let's cook them in here. So you're just crisping it a little bit. Just crisping it a little bit. It's going to carry on going in the, under the grill. Okay. Jules? What do you need? I'm just so excited. Me too. <laughs> we get so excited <laughs> to eat burgers. I know. Oh my hat. Yeah. Okay, there we go. You know what you are missing today is something juicy to drink. But I I know. Think, I, I got beer. Made up for it last time. Why don't you give me a beer? <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, I'm excited for the beer. Okay, guys, your pan is firing. My pan, pan, my pan is firing up this morning. We'll put an oyster for for now, just to show you guys the patties and how we make them. Okay. So, thank you, love. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So we've got our 170 gram uh, balls. We're literally gonna take it like this and then I'm just gonna snap it down flat. So about that, and then I just shape, I shape it a little bit on the side. You see, you don't wanna overwork your meat because then if you overwork, then it gets tough. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. And another trick, I put a little indent in the middle of my burger patty. So when it rises, it don't, you don't get that like bulging burger, like completely flat. Guess what Anton's doing? What's Anton doing? 90% brisket, 10% pork fat. Ooh! Yeah. That's Love it. That's gonna be serious. Okay, now you're gonna get your salt, guys. Okay. Salt, you can just use normal sea salt. Um, I'm just using this umami salt. And you literally liberally That's salt it. That's a lot, it. eh? Yeah, you just put lots. So like, cause you're not, there's no salt on the inside. You need to salt the outside quite liberally. Banging. Okay. I hope you guys aren't using iodated salt. Iodated salt. What's it? Iodated. Uh, uh, table salt. <laughs> okay. Give it a little flipperoo. A flipperoo. Flipperoo. Nice. Oh my word! This is gonna be insane. Porcini. So it needs like a fair amount of salt there. Yeah. Okay. okay. Jaw is on. There we go. Okay, pan back on. Super hot. Cast iron pan. If you got, uh, guys haven't got, then a non stick pan. But cast iron is really good because it holds a lot of heat and it like makes it bang. Okay, so now we're gonna wait until this like pan is basically smoking. And then we're gonna, no, you don't add any like fat to the pan. You just literally put it on there's enough fat in the burger. And then it gets a crust. Flip over. Make sure you've got a, a, a lid. Put the cheese on top, and then we're gonna steam the cheese, and then straight onto the bun. The bun's looking good, eh? Yeah. Oh. Um. Christmas is in the house. Yes. That's right, eh? Yeah. Cookie. 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 Okay, now, while your burgers are going, you've got about three minutes. It's, got, it's gonna be three minutes on one side and then about three minutes on the other side. Quick. Now let's get the bases here, the lids over here. Oh, nice. Okay, it's nice and crispy. I like putting a little bit of our sauce at the base. Gail Gunston says, look amazing. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Okay, then I have my, I have my lettuce. Put my lettuce here on topping. Oh wow, 
The lettuce also gives it a delicious like uh, crisp taste. It also helps like the huh. bun from getting all the juices, meat juices. Oh so, yeah. I like putting my pickles down the base. Look at this. You're having a jewel here. In my words. Have I even got a spatula in this book? I need some black pepper. Here's my black pepper. I don't like putting black pepper on there because it burns. So I just put a little bit of pepper on my salad. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Look at that sauce coming down there. Yo, that looks Yo, dirty. This looks dirty. <laughs> the camera crew is frothing. <laughs> so come look here, come look here, come look, have a look here, guys. So like you can see the sides, the sides start cooking. That's really what you want. And uh, you'll start seeing a, little, a couple of the juices will start pushing through the patty. Yes, this is gonna be so good. Oh my word, look at this, look at this. Look at that. That's what you want. That's, that's flavor time, the caramelization. Okay, now it's grilling the other side. Now we can start getting your cheeses. So remember, I've got my Havati plain up here, I'll start putting on that. I've just got extra cheese here because I had it. So I'm pouring it on. I do love the margin. I'm putting on these below. Hey, 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 hey. Guys, the naughtiest cheese ever drank. Look at this, look at this. Let's put it on. I mean, burgers are easy. We could have made this in like 10 minutes if we wanted to, but obviously we're going slow. Like, yeah. <laughs> Slow for you guys. Have your pan, your lid ready. Now you guys just get a little bit of uh, water. I've got a little bit of water in a cup. Going in guys. Tap the water in the middle. Bruna Farm Cottages is saying awful processed cheese with beautifully made mayo. Woo! But the cheese is just one of those things. That it's yeah, you have to. It's that, naughty, it, but it, it really adds to the mood. Oh wow, that looks good. Sounds good. Are you excited? Are you guys excited? It's new, incredible. When he lifts that lid, we have to do. Just Get involved, yeah. Come in here. Come over, look. He's like teasing us every time you open up the lid, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Get them out of there. Yeah. So now you take your lid off. Now the onion, I'm, I like putting my onions on now. Over here. Get them on. Making a burger in there. Oh, okay. There we go. Let's put it over here. You got seven and two feet on here. Hello, all. <laughs> I love the that you put on. Okay, I don't put the bun straight on. I let it rest a little bit for two seconds before I go straight into the burger. I love how much water you Just a drop. Like, here we go. Just a drop. Just a drop. To make it steam. Those are going to be medium rare. I'm excited. Get those things done. I'm very excited. You want to eat it? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm joking. If they need to wait, that's perfect. Oh, they're just having a look. You remember, you, you're basically cooking it like a steak, Juice. So you, you, you're making your, you're cooking your steak and you're going to rest. Same for the burger. So mm. then all the, what, like some of the juices? All the out. juices go back to its original places. They stay there. <laughs> and then they're ready for you. They're ready to go. Just, just like, as you buy, just. <laughs> yeah. No, you are literally obsessed with food. Okay, we need sauce on the top button, that's all we do need. Oh, water. Oh, wow. I've accepted that, that I come a hard second to food. You know that. Mm. So good. <laughs> you see? <laughs> <laughs> I need to have that. I need to have what you Exactly, you won't prove it. <laughs> Crispy bun. Look at this. Wow, saucy. Oh my dang. Watch out, is it going to fall over? It's like the leaning tower of Pisa, that one. No, I'll... You're going to come in here for the shot to eat this thing? Yes. Wow. 
Are you guys watching this burger? Oh my hat. Okay. There we go. Oh, look how cute they are. Yeah, I think that is. Perfect size. I want to watch you take a bite of this. I look at that. See. That is dang. You getting that? Look at that, but. <laughs> okay. Take a bite. Where's the, where's the? There we go. Oh wow. Oh my. Oh wow. Okay. Oh. Oh. Juicy! Your mom says dad's coming for a burger. Come, come, come. That is insane. That really is insane. Have a frothy, love? Uh, oh my gosh, guys. Yeah. So remember. Oh no, juice coming, juice coming. You're gonna have a bite of this one. What are you speaking? I'm frothing, huh? Yes, sir. Look at this, look, I'm sweating and frothing out so much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love the crunch of the onions and the lettuce, and then it's super saucy and juicy and. Oh. Look, a little medium burger there. Beautiful. Oof. Okay, guys. That's the best burger I've ever had. I think it's mine too, really. Guys, get on it. Make your burgers. Let's go huge with my beer. Cheers. You guys are all such legends. Thank you for Thanks for joining me, legends. Let's go. Are we done? Okay. End that thing. <laughs> End it! <laughs>